Hello everyone. Shrieks here. Welcome back to Kirby 64. The Crystal Shards. Last time we got started with the second level called Rockstar. And that reminds me I also need to start let's playing Grand Theft Auto at some point. <laughs> Part 3 is coming up. The first one I actually own. But um, Rockstar jokes aside. <laughs> we are also going to continue in Kirby of course with Rockstar. <laughs> In the meantime, I've also done a little bit of homework in order to ensure I'm not going to get surprised by crystal shards that actually need a certain power combo. <laughs> because that is going to happen at some point. Perhaps even in this level already. A single star to the left. Biggest secret you'll ever find in a video game. <laughs> but also still a rule of course, in your 2D platformers always check the left. <laughs> Let's see if we can also work on our list of ability combos that we haven't seen yet. One of the goals of course in this let's play being seeing all of them. And I'm not interested in spark and stone because that one we've already seen <laughs> in the previous level even so. I'm not in a hurry showing that one off again. I'm actually interested in a different spark combo if I can find one. Uh, spark and needle, perhaps? Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. She has a shield. <laughs> well, in that case, we're not going to see Spark and Needle. <laughs> kind of forgot the fact that he can block your attack. Let's try that again. Here's Spark. Oh, and here's Fire. That's also one we haven't seen yet, so... <laughs> perhaps also worth showing off. Fire and Spark. Static electricity! <laughs> One of the weirdest uh, combos in all honesty in this game, but... <laughs> for some reason, also pretty funny. Because whoever came up with this? <laughs> Let's go show off fire and stone. Let's go combine this red with brown this time. Volcano! Ooh. Well, this one is a lot more practical than the previous one, so... <laughs> also a pretty good one. So we can scratch two more fire combos. One with spark and one with stone. And spark and needle we're going to have to wait until later. There's going to be a point where it's going to be required at some point, so we're going to see it anyway. <laughs> Not per se in a hurry doing it now. Oh, one up. Not going to skip out on you. Because of me resetting the game in order to change up my HUD, that does reset my life count. And I think these uh, ruins have seen better days. <laughs> the floor is crumbling. Oh, speaking of crumbling floors, I think we need to go back down all the way to the bottom. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Remembered correctly, there was indeed a crystal shard hidden in here. Stop blocking me. Stupid needle enemies. <laughs> These guys are not per se suited to actually um, get for copy abilities, it looks like. Let's get myself my final bit of health back, so we're full again. Oh, I see a crystal shard in the corner. <laughs> not very well hidden. And apparently you can't kill these ghosts. <laughs> in that case, let's not bother trying. Oh, help. But they are dangerous, so... <laughs> Ow. Oh, doesn't matter. I'm back to full health. <laughs> Thank you for the Maxim Tomato. Next up, we're going to prevent taking a swim. Because there's nothing in there, so... <laughs> Don't have to bother going in there. And then we end up over here. No, be careful for this thing. This will actually... Rise the moment you start walking on it, trying to crush you. Okay, we have Cutter here, so... Let's go see if we can find ourselves a new green combo. And... Throw! <laughs> hey Kirby, your face went missing all of a sudden. <laughs> Still think this power-up is weird. I prefer the Cutter where Kirby just turns into a Sir Kibble and just throws... An actual cutter around him, and not his face. 
like we see in uh, Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland, for instance. And Return to Dreamland. And Triple Deluxe. And Planet Robobot. Okay, I'm just going to call every single Kirby game now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's nothing up here. And these rooms where you can't see the ceiling immediately always make me paranoid, so... <laughs> there we are. I think it's safe to continue. I'm not going to try to get your power up. The guys with the shields... A little bit too difficult. Oh, here's an ice enemy. Ice propeller, guys. So let's go see if we can actually combine green with blue. Ice cutter. Skating! <laughs> As a Dutch person, I'm a big fan of speed skating. So this is definitely my kind of thing. <laughs> Even though whenever jumping, Kirby looks more like a figure skater. Not per se a speed skater, so... <laughs> This one is really fun to use. <laughs> that much I must admit. Ow. That was not what I was going for. But at least... Now I can get you easily. Needle. And... Yeah, you respond. Needle and ice. Let's go. Orange and blue. Well, this gives new meaning to the word... Crystal shard. <laughs> Not very practical to use, but it is very powerful. <laughs> oh, here's King DDD. Hello. Ooh, we're going to ride on King DDD. First of our uh, other party members, that's actually going to be a help directly, not per se just someone who appears in the background. <laughs> we can actually control a different character now. It does prevent you from using Kirby's other abilities. You're forced to actually play around with King DDD's hammer and his uh, jumping skills. <laughs> well, I did get him, so... <laughs> I'm pretty sure we need to look in this maze for the final crystal shard. And also the exit, of course. I'm not too sure where both of them are, but... Oh, uh, scratch that remark. I know where the first one is. <laughs> Crystal shard, at least. And now let's go see if we can find a way out of here. And it's probably going to be too bright somewhere. And also check for all of the goodies, of course. A couple of stars. Not that they're going to help me get one-ups, because the moment I finish this world, I'm going to reset and change the hut again, so... <laughs> that will also reset my life count, unfortunately. Yeah, there we are. Maximum jump. Easily gotten. Alright, next stage. Taking a quick look on my notes. Yeah, indeed. I did remember this stage needing a certain copy ability. But this one cannot be found in the stage itself. So for this one, we actually need to go back to a different one. And I found out the best one to actually go for is stage 1-2. Because the power-up we're after is stone. And here we actually find it pretty early on. Does not per se have to be dynamite, but... <laughs> I also swallowed the bomb ability. But that should also work. The moment you need a solo copy ability in order to break a block, even whenever it is combined with a certain other one, it should still work. Because the one we actually need is stone, officially. Because of it being solo stone, I think every single form of stone should be good enough. And therefore also dynamite should work. Nope. <laughs> Kept unbouncing quite nicely. <laughs> Looks pretty weird. But okay, here's the block we were after. And yeah, I was correct indeed. All we needed was stone. But even a stone combo also works. <laughs> For that one, we quickly needed to go to a different stage. Like I said, I needed to do some homework because the game is going to um, pull the strip more often later on. <laughs> this is definitely not going to be the only time. We actually need to head into a different stage in order to get the copy ability that we need. Alright, nothing up here, so let's go into the quicksand pit. And then we can select two pits. I think we need to go in the left one. 
Oh, it's a mini boss fight. A lot of uh, cutter enemies. Pretty difficult actually dodging my dynamite, so. <laughs> Yeah, indeed. Here we are. Second crystal shard. Can only be gotten if you go in the left pit. Otherwise you're going to end up on that path in the front. And there, you cannot reach it, so... <laughs> need to reset the stage otherwise. Let's see if we can find ourselves a new copy combo. Because for the third one, we actually don't need any. So I can play around with other power-ups again. See if we can find ourselves a good ice combo. We've seen plenty of them already. But not all of them. Uh, ice and cutter we've already seen. We might as well keep it with me for now. I did explain in the previous stage that I really like the skating, so. <laughs> might as well use it in this room. Ow! <laughs> First death of the project, coming right up! <laughs> and jump! <laughs> jump! <laughs> yeah, this section is pretty well designed for skating, so... <laughs> it keeps on spinning on the water! <laughs> Go Kirby! No, but here we can't use it, so... Let's go swimming for the first time in the game. Actual swimming. Not little bits, little pools. But an actual entire underwater room. First time we're seeing one of those. Also seems to be something we need to get used to. And these guys can easily be dodged, it looks like. <laughs> Just need to keep on going. Easy room, therefore. Now we need to go up, it looks like. Yeah, that goes a bit slower, so... <laughs> These guys are not as easily dodged this time around. There's also a current. Uh, the current is not here for nothing. <laughs> Stuff is going to fall down. We need to pay attention. Thank you for a start. <laughs> There are anything up here? Yeah, there is anything up here. <laughs> the third crystal shard actually did not require any uh, copy combo, so it was not on my list. <laughs> but there it still was. Alright, that was the second stage of the day. Let's go grab you. Or let's go miss you. <laughs> well, it does not matter. I'm not going for all of the enemy, enemy cards anyway, so... Um, this one actually does not require any out-of-level business, so let's immediately go in. So grab bomb. And the pyramid in the background is going to do something, it looks like. <laughs> Always thought that this stage was weird. But this upside-down pyramid is some sort of uh, UFO, you might say. <laughs> The swine enemies actually want to leave me alone. No, let's just ignore them. Let's go in. Because it's obviously where we're going. Come on! <laughs> enemies coming from the left. <laughs> I think that used to be an episode title for one of my earlier Kirby projects. <laughs> enemies spawning in the left. <laughs> oh, this part. The shotos over here are going to kill me. <laughs> First death of the project coming right up. <laughs> I did promise it in the previous stage, but I'm still not safe yet, so... <laughs> Alright, fight this room. Oh, <laughs> they were still shooting me. <laughs> but I still have only one health. And I see a sandwich, so... <laughs> Let's do something about it now. Thank you. Change it up apparently. Oh, come on. Getting that crystal shard also does not look too difficult, so. Just need to be patient. 
wait for the yellow one to retract again. And thank you. Oh, and good thing to note there's enemies here, so I can actually combine my bomb with Spark, because these guys are actually Spark enemies. Let's see what we get now. Light bulb. Hmm. It's returning uh, copy ability from Kirby's Dreamland 2. <laughs> And it's even required, because it looks like the moment we actually light our light bulb, these pictures Adeline is actually standing at, light up water, moon, sun. And in the room after it, we actually find some switches. Oh, apparently need to crouch. <laughs> water, moon, sun. Crystal shard. <laughs> For every single playthrough, this is going to be different. It's going to be randomized every single time, so... If you're playing along, don't go follow my lead. For your save file, it can be something completely different. For mine, it actually happens to be this one. <laughs> Already giving us two crystal shards. Only one more to find. Oh, here's a maximum tomato. Good thing uh, these rooms with a lot of space always make me paranoid. <laughs> Always make me want to check out everything. Sometimes it actually gets rewarded. Let's get Solar Spark for now. And hopefully find something we have not combined it with yet. Like Spark again, for instance. Nope, oh, that also works. <laughs> Double Spark actually gives Kirby uh, psychic abilities, you might say. <laughs> A little bit OP, if I need to be honest, because it also makes you invincible inside of your little ball. <laughs> really fun to use. Let's go take out this mini boss with it. Bam! Bam! <laughs> Bam! <laughs> See, like I said, OP! <laughs> Let's go dub this uh, double spark ability as Zap Cannon. <laughs> Kirby uses Zap Cannon. It's super effective. <laughs> oh, there's another uh, blue type of enemy. It can appear on these poles. Oh, be careful for them. <laughs> we'll try to form wherever you touch the pole, so... Oh, and that was it, apparently. A little bit of a sudden end to the stage, but still. <laughs> Let's go... Grab you. Yeah. This time we did get it. I'm not gonna go for all of them, but I will try to get as many as I can. <laughs> Time for the boss. Let's see what we have. Ooh. Some sort of crystal. It does look like the kind of crystal that can actually hurt you, so... Better stay away from its beam. And here's a second one. <laughs> oh, help. <laughs> This is a little bit more tricky to avoid. Close attention. Yeah, I'm bored, so I'm gonna play around with my copy ability. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Playing around does not mean that I can stop paying attention. <laughs> and now there's three of them, so even harder to avoid. Oh. That should be it, reaching the top, and therefore the fight can actually begin. Here comes the enemy health bar. Let's get started. These things will actually drop these um, atom-like projectiles <laughs> that appear in the arena. We can actually use them in order to attack these guys, while avoiding their attacks, of course. Let's deal with this second boss. When I was younger, I actually thought I needed to hit the right colors with these things. Actually hitting the red one with the red atoms and the blue ones with the blue. <laughs> know what I mean. But that actually does not matter. You can hit all of them with any color. Two of them are down. Now let's go take care of that final one. Oh, this looks difficult. <laughs> Better wait for it to actually start acting normally again. 
no, technically I could hit it. <laughs> As you can see. <laughs> it's a lot easier the moment it just uh, stands still. Like this. Now let's go. Three crystals down. And therefore, boss number two down. Getting the only crystal shard of the stage. And finishing off level two. Still moving across the desert of Rockstar. However, for Kirby, it seems to be a little bit too much. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> the moment you start seeing food in your friends, then you're pretty far gone. <laughs> Kirby needs some snacks. He always needs snacks. <laughs> Well, that's one way to get your food. <laughs> In that sense, Adeline's power of creating out of his paintings is really handy. <laughs> Come on, Kirby. Snack time is over. <laughs> we need to move on to level 3. And that is going to be Aqua Star. I will see you next time when we will continue with Kirby 64. In the third level, which is probably going to be water themed. We did do the first underwater stage today, but I think in this world we are going to do that a little bit more. <laughs> Thank you all for watching Kirby 64 Part 3. Next time we're going to enter level 3. Treeks out.